The Kia EV9 is Kia's flagship, top-of-the-line car, regardless of power. It is the most costly and luxurious Kia in almost every market, surpassing the Telluride and Sorento. The EV9, built on the same eGMP platform as the Kia EV6 and Hyundai Ioniq 5, is a spacious three-row crossover that can accommodate six or seven passengers. The EV9 is comparable to the Telluride in terms of length, width, and height. However, the EV9 has a nearly 8-inch wheelbase difference, making it appear slightly extended. Its size may not stick out among the thousands of three-row crossovers on the road today, but it is a large car. There's no disputing that America is obsessed with SUVs. Vehicles with three rows of seats are also popular, particularly among larger families. These vehicles are modern minivans with superior off-road capability and towing capacity. While three-row SUVs offer more capacity and utility, they are also larger and heavier, making them less fuel-efficient and more risky to other drivers. The entry-level EV9 starts at 54 Fator 900, 65,025 in the UK, but British buyers only get the larger battery and includes 19-inch alloy wheels, LED headlights, body-colored flush door handles, power front seats, a triple-screen dashboard with twin 12.3-inch displays and a 5.3-inch climate control panel in between, six USB-C ports, two per row, and an eight-speaker audio system. This pricing point is, to put it mildly, aggressive for Kia and only a few years ago would have been comical for the company. Not anymore. Furthermore, it is significantly less expensive than the competitors from which it seeks to distance itself. Motor and Battery the EV9's engine is available in numerous configurations, including single-motor RWD and dual-motor AWD, but power output, range, and even charging capabilities vary per trim. The base 230-mile range light RWD model with a 76.1 kilowatt-hour battery is powered by a 215-horsepower motor. The range-leading 304-mile light long-range model employs a 201-horsepower motor powered by a 99.8-kilowatt-hour battery, whereas the dual-motor AWD versions provide 379-horsepower. Interestingly, the smaller battery can achieve a greater DC fast-charge rate 800 voltage charging architecture with a peak of 235 kilowatts, whereas the larger battery has a somewhat lower peak rate of 210 kilowatts. Still, Kaya claims that the long-range EV9 can charge from 10 to 80% in 24 minutes, which isn't terrible. Level 2 charging occurs at a maximum speed of 11.5 kilowatts, assuming you are connected to a charger capable of providing at least 48 amperage of service to the EV9. The EV9 recharges from flat to full in 8 hours and 45 minutes for large battery models and 6 hours and 45 minutes for small battery variants. The AWD version's power output is adequate to carry this 2.6-ton electric SUV from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds and up to 124 miles per hour if you choose the GT line. Another update includes five different illumination patterns for the LEDs placed in the front grille. The EV9, like other eGMP-based EVs, supports V2L, vehicle-to-load capabilities of up to 9.6 kilowatts via two 120V power outlets and will have access to Tesla superchargers later this year. The EV9 can even power your home in an emergency if your electrical panel is correctly configured. The EV9's speed will undoubtedly amaze you. This is both a positive and negative thing. It's great to be able to move such a beast of an SUV out of a jam quickly, but stopping anything of this size at high speeds can be difficult. Its speed and range are aided by a surprisingly low drag coefficient of only 0.28, making this boxy monster of an EV more aerodynamic than an I-Pace and, shockingly, a Lamborghini Huracan GT3.